You don't give very much now. Two hundred and sixty two dollars. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick stop at the post office. On the way we go. Appreciate everybody who hit up the merch store in the last week. You guys are absolutely nuts. Um, I got amazing fans. I appreciate all the support you guys got. Um, so DuffyAg.com. I can guarantee that it is some of the nicest merchandise you will ever get from a YouTuber or whatnot guy knocks it out of the park everything's in stock um yeah order it'll be shipped so but we're gonna dive into today i got one maintenance kit to do and then hopefully i can get into some of my own stuff i'd really like to get the chopper in a good place and then i can get on to trucks because uh yeah we do have some trips planned um for a lot of things farming some bitch show uh september fourth Colburn's gonna be there with the dyno again so great cause uh, go hit it up put it on your calendar I'll have to put a link in here uh, we got that we've talked about runner stock um, people have asked me if I'm going farm show I don't I don't know I'm kind of busy on that stuff I uh, got some tours and some trips to go see people but, yeah that is uh, what the schedule's looking like. So, alrighty, I'll catch you guys when I get back into work. I always do love to go by here. Two super liners sitting there. But there's a bunch of them sitting over on the other side too. And there is a six wheeler baby blue super liner that's there. So, we're coming back down 95 here, jumping on 495. It's up in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, yeah. I know those super liners, they're sharp. Every time I go by, they usually got something for sale. And usually they throw a super liner or an R model or something up there every now and then. It looks cool. Just got back from work. He goes, well, he's just partied all day. So, what are we going to do today? Chopper. We need to put a front wheel on. We need to take that hay head off. Um, park it somewhere out of the way. Um, and then we can blow the chopper off, get that cleaned up some. I don't think I'm going to pressure wash it right now. But we need a front wheel on it. We need to put some air in the tire. Once it's pressure washed, we got belts to do on everything. But... You have a good day. <laughs> so, we were driving down the highway. And I look over and Yank was, I don't know, staring at the box truck driver next to us as the box truck driver is trying to get a picture of him staring at him. I'm like, everybody loves him. He's a good dog. But. Huh. Yeah, that one's a little flat. That one's also going a little flat. So, you buy these all as one piece, if you guys don't know. And, uh, where's my box? I got a box of them. I got a bunch of them. Oh, they're all underneath the filters. So these are all actually used filters, but they're $180 for a filter. Oh, there's a spider. Come on, there you go, you get the whole thing bearings everything i think it's like 70 bucks so i got plenty of spares 802 farmer up there he said fill them with foam i'm hoping i don't actually use this head in the future i do hope that i keep chopping some either for myself or some custom stuff um but i got the bigger head that's got the better wheels which i picked up a year ago yesterday so, yeah, clearly I didn't get around to fixing that. 
which I should have because it's much better head. Well, I'll get this picked up. We'll get that switched off. We're gonna bend that fender back, and then this head can come off. We'll just we'll just clean up some of the dry grass. Head can come off out of the way. Chopper's got to get cleaned up. So what I'm doing now, if you guys haven't realized, I'm just getting all my stuff to the point where if for some reason we make a move, everything's good to go. Well, when we make a move, everything's good to go. So if we do end up at a buddy's place or end up custom chopping some, I can just jump in and go. And that's, that's going to be the biggest thing. And yeah, there's a lot of potential. So a lot of potential. I was jokingly said, we'll go playing across the U.S. in this setup next year. And a bunch of people reached out to me saying, we know some farmers who would be interested in that. So, hell of a setup. I love this tractor. I'm glad I got it. Even though it's fought me and took taken money from me, I absolutely love this tractor. I've changed quite a few of these tires. This one actually came off the old head. So, this one, um, that tire I didn't expect to last very long and then I forgot to order another spare. Yeah, there's supposed to be like this backing piece around it. Yeah, we get rid of that real quick. Let's, uh, I guess I better get a big uh, wrench and we'll pull that back out of itself. Somebody said I need a push cart and all sorts of other stuff. I agree. Problem is push cart on what, what, what we're working on doesn't really make much sense. What I need to do is organize all this stuff again because we got organized and then I had a project and then I get unorganized and then a few weeks went by. Oh, I don't know, a week. But. I don't know how that actually got bent backwards. I must have backed up with the head on the ground and pulled it. So, new one, make sure your valve stem's pointed out, take your sticker off so you don't look budget. My friends with new Kloss rakes, Kloss must have had some issues with their tires, the new ones and whatnot, because they go flat non-stop. So a lot of my friends with the new class rakes change tires all the time. Oh, look at that. And it's either the tire you smoke something, but usually the problem that I have is I blow that center out of it. And uh, yeah. So, alrighty. Head is good. Um, we just got some seals, I think. Actually, the seals might still be good. We got the one band in the middle that is broken off, and I just run it. That's that's just how it is. Bought some more for my scrap pile. A squad's back. Hey, did you guys have any money for the tolls? Boss man's behind us, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's great.
So what went on? They're working up in New Hampshire. My brother was in front of them and in his pickup. My brother pulled up to the toll booth and the person was like, hey, uh, here's the toll. My brother was like, oh, the boss is in the pickup behind me. And it was his guys. And he left and he's like, got him. And then he was like, wait, I hope somebody has money. So prankster he is. So Choco Tacos are no longer a thing, right? Like they stopped making them. My brother ordered 20 boxes of 26 Choco Tacos. So he figures, I forget what his math was. He's got like a year supply of Choco Tacos. Um, so yeah, Choco Tacos. Sad. That was a childhood thing for me. I don't really eat ice cream now though. All right, wheels good. Um, somebody let me know if you guys really enjoy the head, the head, uh, head mount setup. Yeah, if you guys enjoy this, that you can see things and I can visually do stuff, and I look like an idiot, but it allows me to actually uh, wander around and show you guys what's going on. Gives you guys a little different. I know Levi up there in Canada. He already said he uh, enjoyed it because it is a different, different look. So this is good. We got to take this head off. That will free up some space. Alrighty, we'll let that sit out there, run for a while, get this bad boy uh, disconnected. Oh. This handle's all messed up, which from flopping around, it should've went up there and I messed up. So I gotta switch that. I do have a bag of those. So I got another one that's junk too. So I got these. <laughs> we'll switch it right out. Which is really unfortunate because I'm pretty sure this jack's like all original. Like that handle and everything. And I thought about just switching the knob out. And then I was like, well. I'm trying to find a green knob. Did not work out. So. We'll just switch it. We'll be good. This one's got a bolt. It's black. The, it's all good. It is all good. Because it was very inconvenient trying to spin that with that broken one. Alrighty. Have to get some goo gooby gone. Four state truck parts. If I could find a green handle, I would have just done that, but couldn't find a green handle. Figured we'd just switch them out because I'm missing a few of those on other jacks, so. <laughs> Pressure off these. So, you always leave your planter up in the air. So I got the, the stops, but you see the pressure's not off of them. So I got gap between the stop and the cylinder. The ram, the rod, whatever you guys want to call it. When we get a few of our projects done, we got to put this headliner in too. There we go. Now we're down. Now we're we're away from that ca canvas of the hoop building. I was a little nervous, but we're lower now. It's gonna come apart together. Nope, there we go. One hand. Okay. resting on it started messing around and uh 
Well, I pulled this out of the scrap pile. I don't have enough air, but that might give me some more capacity. Then I can blow this thing off a lot better. And as you see, I started breaking off everything. These wheels don't have to be perfect. I just want them to look a little better than that before I put them on the truck. So that was my thinking, but we need to get some fitting ends for this. So probably gonna do that first. It's a little awkward carrying a camera around in the store, but so Yanko chills out here. Yeah, I think you can bring dogs in. There's not enough hands. AC's on, don't worry. He's barking. When we get back, we'll get uh, some tennis balls for him. Really helps if you remember the stuff that you brought to compare for the bushings and whatnot. Don't worry, bud. We'll be back. He's, he's on. Yeah, make a big difference. There's always helpful people around, but I like figuring out my projects on myself. So I brought that's one plug that went like that. The side plug was a little bit smaller, which is I mean, this plug. We got an adapter piece. We got some fittings. Should be everything, right? So, what else we need? Paint extension cord. <laughs> Hundred foot. That might be overkill. Light gauge. We need a heavy gauge. Might be it. Fifty foot heavy gauge. Okay. Paint. We got a three-way splitter, so paint. You don't give very much now. Two hundred and sixty-two dollars. Six things of white paint. Three things of primer. A bag that's ripping. Two tennis balls. Air hose. Some fittings. Extension cord. Crazy world we live in. Priority though. Fifty cents a tennis ball. Also, you ain't going swimming, so he's a little dirty. I got you two of them. When we get home, we'll play. Love me a Mountain Dew Big Gulp. Stopped at 7 Eleven. Oh. Do you want this? Do you love tennis balls? lives to chase tennis balls all right let's get going let's see what we got Woof. this thing's freaking heavy so this is actually a bottom of an atlas copco air compressor and uh it's yeah been in the scrap pile for a few years but i'm gonna repurpose it Do what I do. I'm using pipe dope because I can't find my tape. Even though I don't like pipe dope because I don't think it works worth a damn. I don't know why I didn't get any tape while I was at there. Alrighty, put a fitting on the top. Outlet fitting. So we got the side fitting that I hope it fits. Woo -wee! I did good on that. That was a guesstimation. And then we'll have the outlet on the side. 
and then I can let the little air compressor fill it up for a while and then when it runs low I'll just go do something else and then I'll come back I've got plenty of things to do just trying to you know, get by with what we got someday I'll have like a slick setup it just won't be today probably not tomorrow either someday I'm just trying to keep moving forward any way we can so my name is gonna come off that loan in the future here near future and at that point um, I'll probably lose a place to live I won't have this ability to stay here even though this is my brother's area that he um, claimed years and years and years ago um, I do have people locally that have already reached out and said hey you can bring all your stuff here like we got spots so I appreciate everybody who's done that but yeah hoop building probably gonna have to get taken down just the nature of it and uh, yeah put it up somewhere so that is why I'm trying to get some of this stuff done and I am working on little projects and figuring it out but like the trucks have to get to a point where yeah they can run a distance because we might end up having to put them a distance look at that new that new new going into the tank little compressor it's working so we'll fill that tank huge amount of capacity then for blowing things off running the needler that's much better it's a lot of run around today but we're gaining I'll let that fill up I'm gonna put together my other stool see how far we get tonight it's already eight just before eight it's getting dark earlier now got myself two stools now so uh, one for me, one for Yanko. I don't even know where he is. Now that it's cooling down, he's much happier, but little compressor that could ran for quite a while. Now we got capacity of air. Um, yeah, I don't know if it ran for 30 minutes, but that will give me some ability to blow things out, fill tires. Um, yeah, run a, whatchamacallit, sandblaster gun. Somebody says I need a water jet water blaster I probably do well, I'm just messing around someday someday I'm gonna have my dream shop we're gonna have a hell of a setup we're really gonna crank projects out then I got plenty of capacity pump does not like this so five minutes are running and that's it um, so I need to think about what I'm gonna do. Probably get a gas little one that's like a lot more CFMs than that. Five horsepower or something, but here's where I'm at. Not the most beautiful thing, perfect or anything like that. But keep in mind, it's going on the white truck. If I threw shiny, amazing, perfect wheels on the truck, then I'd be like, okay, now we gotta do the rest of the truck. So much better than it was cleaned it up i forget what i paid for these tires i don't know if it was 300 or 600 i have to look back so we picked picked these up when we picked the hoop building up and uh well look at it they're retreads they're gonna they're gonna last a while for me i could go buy new wheels to go in it but what's the point plus right now the cost of tires ridiculous so and if you can even get them fuck we'll get them cleaned up they're gonna look good like that definitely gonna look good like that so and that's just primer i got white to go on it so i'm gonna hit it with a coat of white before we leave so tomorrow i got an idea of 
Hey, do I like it or not? Bam. Ooh okay. I like them. They're not too bright white. They'll look good with these. So those are the center spacers. Those are a little too white, I'd say, for what we're gonna do. But they're gonna line up real well with that, and I just got white paint on my hand. <laughs> that was good. But yeah. No, we got it down. Whoever said get the needler, good idea. I'm gonna use that for future things probably too. You got enough of them, right? Yeah, four. Losing it. Probably use that for future things, but I'm gonna get uh, packed up. Yanko says it's dinner time, so. I guess we'll mess with this stuff some more. I'll get the chopper back underneath here so I'm not in the way for my brother's guys. But one tire is looking good. A lot of work for one tire, but now that we got a rhythm down, we just gotta get some more air and uh, then we'll be good. That looks, I don't know. You guys saw the before picture, right? Of one of these? So, yeah. I'd say we're a little bit better. A little bit. Probably $5 five dollars in primer we'll say five dollars in spray paint um some some time we had to do that anyways that will make our life easier for a while um yeah but definitely going to be ahead as far as running the floaters on that all the time now we can take them off and be in a better place so appreciate you guys watching along i'm going to keep daily content coming out as i have stuff to show you but every day we got to just keep pushing through so depending on what i got for my day at work against what i got going on for myself that will depend on what the content is some videos probably going to be those 40 minute videos some videos might be the 10 minute videos but keep you guys informed because you guys have been awesome as far as support on anything um i'm blown away appreciate you guys you guys have been wild i said that in a previous comment and somebody was like we are wild you guys are like i got some amazing amazing fans amazing support amazing people in my life so i'm gonna get myself packed up here and get out of here it's almost 10 o'clock so yeah we'll see you guys on the next one have a good one